last week, as we were ending the 8 o'clock service, I had a conversation with one of our fellow parishioners who said to me, as we were talking about the passion narrative, she said, when we do the passion and the part comes where the crowd has to say, crucify him, I prefer to stay silent because I don't want to be one of those who screams, crucify him. We had a long conversation about it after that, and I've been thinking about it a lot throughout this week. And it seems to me that at that point in time, the people who were gathered in that crowd had three choices. They could either scream, crucify him. They could say, let him go. And the third choice was, to remain silent. It seems as though that's a good choice to just say nothing. But in fact, just like when people say, when it comes time for elections, I'm not going to go to vote because there's no good candidate. And I say to them, well, if you don't vote, you're actually voting. If you don't give your opinion, then whoever the majority's opinion is will be the one to prevail. <clears throat> so that day, those who had the option to choose to say crucify, let go, or remain silent, actually truly only had two choices. If you chose to remain silent, you actually went along with those with a loud voice who said, crucify him. When we choose not to speak, we actually speak very loudly. When we choose to stand and remain silent in the face of injustice, cruelty, hunger, despair, or any other type of situation that human beings can go through, we're actually choosing to support injustice, prejudice, and all those other things. Unless we raise our voices and say, no more, this will not happen. If we choose to be silent instead of raising our voices, we have actually spoken quite loudly. I pray that during this Holy Week, which now begins, that you will find yourself building up the courage to speak up. Because we cannot live a true Christian life. We cannot truly be people of God if we decide that we're going to allow our faith expressed in our voice to be silenced. Because how often does it happen that when it comes time for us to proclaim that we are God's people, that we do believe in Jesus, the Son of God, as the Messiah of the Christ, we choose to remain silent and let the gospel go unheard. How many times do we fear being ridiculed and put to shame because of our faith, they decide not to speak. At the time of his death, Jesus was silent. Like a lamb before its shears, he did not speak. But he was quite loud in his resurrection. I pray that as you journey through this holy week, you will find yourself dying quietly with Jesus. So that as his resurrection comes along and we celebrate it, you can speak the loud voice of life. You can speak loudly about what it means to be alive and to be a follower of God. I pray that as you journey towards Calvary, towards the tomb, 
you will find your silent voice dying along with Jesus. And the voice of one who has courage and hope and faith being raised to life in his resurrection.